I'm Kara Lartidien from Lyon University in France, and I will present our work that consisted in designing a novel deep architecture to detect and segment punctuate white matter lesions in preterm neonates based on 3D cranial ultrasonography. About 15 million children are born prematurely each year. This number is in constant increase. 18 to 35 percent of these preterm births will lead to brain anomaly, which can cause motor handicap as well as intellectual disability. The main anomalies are ventricular dilatation, as seen in green on this slice, as well as punctuate lesion in the surrounding white matter here. Volume and position of this lesion are good indicators of the severity of potential handicap. For now, MRI is the gold standard for assessing this lesion, but it, its access is limited. So our team is investigating the performance of CUS, cranial ultrasonography, as good performance of CUS is indeed illustrated on this slide, comparing images of the same neonate patient as acquired with MRI on the left and CUS on the right. So lesions are depicted in red here. So outlining this lesion is not an easy task. So there have been recent work to automatically perform this task in MRI, with a deep learning approach recently proposed by Liu et al. As far as we know, there is no reference on automatic segmentation in CUS. So our contribution is to fill this gap by proposing a novel deep architecture entitled Priority Unit, which is based on a 2D unit segmentation backbone. And the main methodological novelty is that we had a soft attention model based on prior lesion density maps that are fed into the network through skip connection here. We also combine the newly introduced self-balanced focal loss, SBFL, which has been proposed to tackle very unbalanced segmentation tasks. Here we provide a rationale to estimate the prior density of lesion localization. This 3D rendering view shows in red the pool lesion of our 3D volume and indicates that they are mainly located around the ventricular system as represented in blue here. So our goal is to make our network focus its attention on this area. To do this, we compute density of our lesional volume from our training data set using a person rosenblatt estimator on small batches of slices sliding through the 3D volumes. We also uh, add, evaluate the influence of SBFL, the self-balanced focal loss, which is similar to the focal loss introduced by Lean based on the cross entropy terms here in green associated to a mechanism to downweight the contribution of easy sample here and to a weighting factor beta that evolves during training. Concerning the data, we collected CUS exams of 21 neonates, annotated more than 500 lesions, and considered 131 lesions for this study with a volume higher than 1.7 cubic millimeters. We evaluated the performance of our model based on a tenfold cross-validation study. We performed an ablation study to evaluate the impact of the loss term and of the stuff detention model. And we use standard performance metrics for detection and segmentation task. Here are the results for the segmentation detection task here. If we focus on detection, we can say that on overall, our model achieved the best performance in both precision and recall. Now regarding the ablation study, comparison of line one and three show the benefit of the proposed attention map, allowing to gain both in recall while keeping a constant precision. Now comparing line one and two shows the influence of the SBFL, which allows a significant gain in recall, but has a price of a drop in precision here. So our model in our model, the attention map allows to control the drop in precision induced by SBFL while preserving recall. So here is an illustrative slide of the performance on a patient of our model here at the bottom right. So to conclude, we propose the first model to automatically perform detection and segmentation of white matter lesion in preterm neonates. We achieve encouraging performance and our perspective is to improve this design so as to reach the dice score that uh, performance that is currently achieved with MRI.